Okay, in this pincast, we're going to talk about theorem 9.4, which is uh, really just an extension of a result that is generally true about finite triangles. Uh, and we're just going to extend that result to omega triangles. So for any omega triangle, AB omega, which we have here, the measures of the exterior angles formed by extending AB are greater than the measures of their opposite interior angles. So if this angle here is of measure alpha, and this angle here is measure alpha prime, then this theorem says that alpha is less than alpha prime. Similarly, if this angle here is beta, and this angle here is beta prime, this is saying that beta is less than beta prime. Okay, so uh, we're going to essentially just prove this for the, the alphas, the alpha and the alpha prime. Uh, and you, you should notice that um, the argument that we're going to go through is perfectly general. Uh, if you just renamed all the points, uh, if you swapped the labels a and b and alpha and beta, exactly the same argument would apply in the other direction. So we're going to prove this. Um, we're going to prove this inequality here by contradiction. We're going to uh, first assume that alpha prime, or alpha is greater than alpha prime, and we're going to show that that results in a contradiction. And then later, we're going to suppose that, the, that alpha equals alpha prime and show that that results in a different contradiction. Okay, so here we have our alpha prime up here, and we have our alpha, and we are assuming that uh, alpha is bigger than alpha prime, so this angle here is bigger than this one. Uh, and we're going to use a a fairly common trick. Uh, since alpha prime is smaller, then we can construct that angle inside the this angle down here. So if angle alpha is bigger than alpha prime, then we can construct this smaller angle within that same angle. Now, of course, this line here, this line L, being above the line A omega, uh, must intersect with B omega. And so let's call this point D. So now uh, we have uh, a triangle, an actual triangle, a regular triangle, ABD, that has an exterior angle equal to uh, the interior, opposite interior angle. interior angle. But we do know that for regular triangles, uh, the opposite, or the exterior angle is always strictly greater than the opposite interior angle. So this is a contradiction. So, well, can't alpha, alpha can't be bigger than alpha prime, but maybe, just maybe, alpha can be equal to alpha prime. And uh, this proof would have been extremely poorly planned if that turned out to be the case. So there must be a contradiction here somewhere. And what we're going to do is we're going to construct so we're, here is our alpha prime, and here is our alpha. Oops, forget about that prime. And we're going to assume that these two angles are equal. And so we're going to choose the midpoint of the line segment AB and call that D. And now we're going to construct a line that is perpendicular to A omega, and that goes through D. We can do that because of uh, the constructions of, of Euclidean geometry apart from the parallel postulate. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing from B omega to D. So we're going to construct this uh, line that is perpendicular to B <clears throat> and passes through D. Okay. Now, uh, since D is the midpoint of AB, we have this side equal to this side. And since alpha prime is equal to alpha, we have these, this angle equal to this angle here. <clears throat> and let's see. And finally, since these two angles are right angles, uh, we have those angles together. Uh, <clears throat> those angles being equal. Now this means that <clears throat> triangle ADF is congruent to triangle uh, BDE, which means, among other things, that this angle, these angles, uh, A, let's see, ADF <clears throat> is congruent to angle <coughs> BDE. So what this actually means is that E, D, and F are all collinear. Which means that our diagram here could actually have been drawn like such. Let's see, this is E. This is A. This is B. This is F. Right angle, right angle, that side, that side, and so on. <clears throat> Which means that the angle, uh, well, 
And now B omega is the same line as E omega. <clears throat> and this is saying that the line of the angle of parallelism at E is 90 degrees, which is a contradiction. Or, as we're going to quickly transition later, we're going to transition over to radians. Uh, so the angle uh, <clears throat> of parallelism at E is pi over 2. And this is a contradiction. So alpha, pr alpha prime can't be smaller than alpha, and alpha prime can't be equal to alpha. So it must be that alpha prime is greater than alpha. And again, the same argument will uh, apply to beta and beta prime uh, in exactly the same way.